Alam mo na, mas maganda ang simulan natin ano meaning ng resilience. Resilience is about, it should be defined as that development should proceed in the midst of all the risk. So, hindi po pwede na you pursue resilience because sometimes you define it so myopically as just being able to recover and survive. It's because we have goals. We are purposing persons. Lagi merong something na you're fighting for. So, dapat well-defined din ang national goals. And I guess the word development subsumes much of it. Tinitingin ko kasi sa akin din, it is a sanctuary less susceptible to changes in the political ano, in the political structure or the politics of society. Then it becomes a nursery for things that can can make change. And then it becomes like um, like St. Paul <laughs> to propagate. So you become a propagator of good ideas. And then you became kings because Roman Catholicism only became the global religion simply because Constantine became the Roman Emperor and made Roman Catholicism as essentially so he started with Saint Augustine, then with Saint Paul, then. So I look at the entire spectrum of how an idea whose time has come become just another idea that disaster risk reduction should be just as ordinary as brushing your teeth every day should be part of your behavioral menu and everybody, especially in the Philippines, na dapat, katulad namin sa Albay, araw-araw sa ginawa ng Diyos, sa buong pitong nine, nine years ko bilang, pong, da, bilang governor, dalawang barangay ang aming pong tinitray, <laughs> nire-refresh ang kanila pong, kanila pong muscle memory, ang kanilang, para alam nila kung ano yung risk at ano po yung appropriately ano dapat itatanim, kung kailan, saan po punta, saan kayo exposed, at ano po yung contingency measure. So, para sa akin, very important talaga ang academe. Because I always consider my job as a politician as essentially as a prophetic mission. If I do my job, it's essentially a teaching job. If I do, if I can plant a dream, an, an ambition in every heart, in all my constituents, then I think I should have done my job as congressman. If they dream for a better life for their family, and the only way to do that is to recognize that there are risks that you need to hurdle, that you need to transcend in order to achieve what you want for your family and what to want for your society. So, congratulate po sa UPRI, sa Philippine Academic Society for Climate and Disaster Resilience. For this conference, the very first in this country, I say this because what I see as something to be done by the academics unfolding right now. The last time I was in UP was about two months ago, during the groundbreaking of a 10-story building, pinagyabang na naman nila that will house the UPRI just at the opposite side of the University Avenue. From structural development, we are now pursuing the software for resilience through conferences like this. I congratulate the organizers, the UPRI team, and each participant who came, come from various universities and colleges, as well as representatives from government agencies, NGOs, LGUs, POs, and other stakeholders for this milestone event. I see this conference very significant because I'm very certain about the important role of the academy in promoting climate and disaster resilience. In Congress, since ninth, actually since May 2015, under Republic Act 1021, there was a sunset provision which says it, we should review what needs to be done. Essentially, it is a response to why nakaroon pa rin ang Pepe Ngondoy, why nakaroon pa rin ang Yolanda, 
Bago isang buong libro na matay, ano ba kulang sa batas na yon? So, nung inappoint ako ni Madam Gloria as the TWG Chair, I had seven meetings, seven TWG meetings for each of all the conceivable risks and hazards, exposure, vulnerabilities. And then we had 13 regional consultations, exactly what people need, what people in the ground, how they see this risk as affecting their lives and their futures and what needs to be done in order to correct them. And then we need two formal PWGs. So na po yan last Congress on October 8, 2018 under the, ano ba yan? It was rammed down our throats by the Speaker Gloria Macapagalaroyo. So ngayon po, in na po dun sa House after so much hugging because I wanted a more radical FEMA-like structure to make scientists from from essentially essentially sanctuaries to incubators and propagators. And then the last course is M&E, Tagatingin, kung nagagawa ba. That's what the academy is all about. You're the best oversight agency actually of this country. In Congress, a bill that we, I propose, we propose together with the academy and NGOs and POs for the creation of the Department of Disaster Relief, in Article 1, Section 2, it says, ensure a science base in a whole-of-society approach and bottom-up participation, representation, decision-making, climate, disaster risk governance, risk assessment, risk reduction, and risk management, and adopt a comprehensive, integrated, proactive approach to lessening the socioeconomic and environmental impacts of disasters and climate change. The academia's research will produce knowledge, data, information that can help us understand risk and vulnerability. Develop and maintain section 6 of article 2, that is, uh, ito po yung mga statement of goals. Maintain and ensure the accessibility of climate geographical information and services to public through open data, which means data can be freely used, reused, and distributed by anyone. Subject to limitations on account of national security consideration, this may include the use of impact-based forecast models and probabilistic hazard maps. Yan. Yan ang naging mahal na mahal ko po ang UPRI. Kasi dan napunta yung NOAA. Sa awa ng Diyos, dahil yung NOAA, tinuruan kami ng mas yung spatial dimension saka yung periodicity po ng risk naging mas klaro sa amin. Dahil dati, meron ka nga satellite, pula-pula na yung albay, edi Iba ko'y plachan! Pero nung nandun na mowa, aba, nadudrawing na namin kung sino tatamaan. Pasalamat po, kaya mahal na mahal ko po ang UPRI and I've been like, although second lang ako sa senator, pero sasabihin ko sa inyo, um, walang humpay ang pagmamahal ko sa UPRI dahil po, naging successful po ang albay sa zero casualty goal. Iba. And uh, bring it on. Oh, lahat ng disaster, pero sana wala. Bring it on. There will be no dead person. In number 17 of the same section, I recognize the role of the academy in producing advanced science and up-to-date technologies in climate change adaptation, disaster risk, and vulnerability reduction. Yung pala nakalimutan ko. Kasi kung isipin mo, yung national imperative pagdating po yan sa resilience is really vulnerability reduction. Hindi mo naman matanggal sa Pacific Ring of Fire, kaya ang dami namin vulkan. Hindi mo naman matanggal sa earthquake belt, kaya ang dami nating earthquake. Hindi mo naman matanggal sa doormat ng Pacific, dahil lahat po pinapangarak sa tabi ng Chile. Kaya ang bagsak papunta dito sa atin. Hindi ko mapigilan ng China, yung kanilang mga snow na linalamig, kaya hindi makaakyat yung bagyo. Sana nag snow din dito. Kasi kung nag-isno tayo, hindi, hindi, yan, hindi yan lalapit sa atin. Takot, takot po sa malamig ang bagyo. Type na type nila yung mainit. Eh kami mga Bicolano, sobrang init na. <laughs> sobrang init magmahal. Higher education such as employment with a regular department funding or consultation, and employment with a regular department funding of academia or higher education case, such as scientific research, academic institution that have a track record and expertise recognized both locally and internationally. 
I specifically mentioned the UPRI, the University of the Philippines, NOAA, because of the fact of the voluminous data generated by NOAA program when it was under the Department of Science and Technology are now housed in UPRI. That's why it is a sanctuary. Now you have to be an incubator, a nursery. Then you have to be a propagandista like Rizal. The academic and scientific and research entities and networks are encouraged to focus that research effort on disaster risk factors and scenarios, including emerging disaster risk in the medium and long term, partner with government, and increase research for regional, rational, local adaptation, support action by local communities and authorities, and support the interface between policy and decision making. Thus, I see the synergy with the stakeholders in the Department of Disaster Resilience, which shall ensure seamless synergy and coordination with stakeholders. I hate the word coordination. In times of emergency, you need to be centralized. Kasi may golden hour. Albay, tinuturo ko sa lahat yan. Unang-una, I will not be there to save you. Kaya we build immediately inside the family in each person that capacity. Kaya pag yuin ka man doon, sa rapo-rapo, alam mo na dapat gagawin mo. And then, kailangan mo po talaga para po mapasiguro na walang namamatay kapag may disaster. Dahil yun naman talaga ang moral duty lalong-lalo na ng mga mayayaman at ng gobyerno and therefore ng akadim na maging zero casualty as a national goal because that is actually in practical terms development in spite of all the risk. So, napakalaga po para sa amin na yung pagdating po ng oras na yan, importante po yung golden hour eh. That time when you can still save a life because you did something. That's why doon sa Yolanda, I mobilized our people, 179 broad water, in the first 18 hours, we were first on the ground kasi we were trying to disprove what the government was saying that it is uh, inaccessible. So we, we used the Matnum Road and we were there on the ground providing telecommunication because Albaya, our disaster management office has, we have our own tele, we have UHF, BHF, uh, we have uh, SMS capacity. So, I look forward to the creation of the Climate Disaster Resilient Research and Training Institute, it's Chapter 8, Section 26. This means that within one year from approval of this act, the department shall establish the CDREITI in collaboration with higher education institutions like UPRI and private and state universities and colleges, which shall be world-class center of excellence for learning and research in the field of disaster risk and vulnerability reduction and management and climate change adaptation. The consolidated bill has passed the committee level. And I think we will try to pass it uh, within this year. Senado, dati po, dalawa lang ang nag-file ngayon natin, mga dose na. So definitely this will pass. So that provides more resource. And essentially what we're creating is the institutional articulation of the national response that it is an institution of social justice in order to uphold the dignity of all persons no matter your circumstances, that nobody will die because of poverty, nobody will die because of your lack of ability. And therefore, I would like to congratulate again everyone for being here. And all in all my speeches, I always get into trouble. So I hope I did not come to a disaster. Thank you very much. And my happiness.